Hey boys and girls, Mr. Orthopedia here with another episode of Walk Me Through. I'm going to continue the walkthrough for The Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword for the Wii, so here we go. In our last video, we, uh, yeah. Yeah. We just landed here in this new land, and there is, of course, a monster that closely resembles a vagina. Now notice... No. Oh, crap. Ow! Now notice how its mouth is open. Some of these guys can actually, uh... Yeah, yeah you have to... What you need to do is, when you... When you see its mouth open horizontally, you slice horizontally. Whereas if you see it slice, where you see its mouth open vertically like you do here, you slice vertically. And this guy is kicking my ass. Oh, she's calling me. She's basically telling me that if I Z-target an enemy or an item, she'll tell me about it. Just like Navi the Fairy and Tattle the Fairy. Not too sure about Midna though. Press down and, and file tell us all about this monstrosity. This is actually a Deku Baba. And she knows how many of these guys I've defeated. You will die! And she also lets me know that my hearts have depleted considerably. Wow. Let's take a shortcut down here. Parachute the rest of the way down. Uh 
let's pull out our sword, hold it up. Z target this thing. Purify it with the, the goddess's light. Now what I just did was seal an unknown evil in that pillar thing. Please, how do I douse? Dousing is when Phi detects the presence of an aura of something you wish to search for using the tip of your sword. The nearer you are to an object emitting this aura in question, the stronger the response will be. Yes. This response manifests itself through vibrations and sound. The direction of the object emitting the aura is indicated by a purple pointer. You see. Yeah. So I can basically use my sword as a dousing device. Cool. Hold Z to select what I wish to detect. When, yeah. Yeah. So like, for example, if I hold the C if I hold the C button on the on the nunchuck, and if I select Zelda, I can select I can look for Zelda by dousing. And according to this dousing ability, Zelda is somewhere around here, so let's go find her. Going up. So these uh, fumaroles can be used to get up using Zelda's cell cloth, which is awesome. So what I have to do is use these elevator like fumaroles and yeah. So Now that I've sealed the great evil that's been emanate, that's been coming out of the, uh, out of that little, uh, pillar below, I can easily go inside this temple here. Moving on. And this temple is of very high significance and you will see why in, later on in the game. So let's just go up to this altar here and there is a sage here with a swinging, oh, with a swinging ponytail. <laughs> it kind of looks like the, uh, it kind of looks like a pendulum of a clock. That's not Zelda. Unless she's grown old somehow. <laughs> and that's what I initially thought when I first played this game. And I really like the watercolor graphics. Something about it seems so peaceful. But then very intense. Now apparently Zelda arrived before I did, so... And she went off somewhere. I sense that she's been captured again.
-hmm. Yeah, I feel an evil power too. And of course, X marks the spot to where I need to go next. So whilst in your map, press the C button on your nunchuck to create a beacon. To do this, you use your pointer you use your pointer and sometimes it's a bit finicky so you can actually recenter it by using the down arrow key on the Wii remote. So once you are comfortable with where it is you need to go, press the C button just like I did to place a beacon. Of course, right now I can only use one of them at a time, so that would really suck ass. Ah. <clears throat> But in any case, I cannot see it from here, but once I go outside through the side door, I'll be able to see it. Ah. Of course, you cannot use you cannot place beacons while you're in a dungeon. Because dungeons are full of dark power. And there is something in her hair. She used that something to unlock the door. Which we need to go through. Yeah, she unlocked the side door with her hair. <laughs> I've heard of people unlocking doors with hairpins, but this is too much. Oh, and while we're here, there's actually a fairy in one of these pots here. So let's go ahead and equip our bottle. Some people call them free mans. Quickly press the minus button to pull out your bottle quickly. Press the A when prompted to scoop up the fairy into the bottle. Some people call them free mans, some call them lives. I just call this life insurance. Back. And why did I put my shield away? I need my shield. I did not mean to do that. Well, I better be very careful with my shield because it's already taking damage. Oh, before we go out the side door, there's actually something very interesting in this chest here. We get another bottle. Yay! This fully replenishes my shield. So I'm I better go ahead and do that now before it breaks. There. It replenishes my energy and my shield. I mean, what more could you want? <laughs> Moving on. Let's go out the side door right now. <clears throat> All right. Moving on. And I can actually see that beacon from here now. There it is. There's the beacon I placed. So let's head on over to that beacon right now. Oh. You can actually catch these birds for their wings later on. And there's some baddies to defeat. They're hassling what looks like a Goron. What the hell's a Goron doing here? That's what I thought the first time I played this game. Alright, it's ass kicking time. You will die! Yeah. So 
Sometimes these guys will drop stones that are shaped like skulls. Like I just picked up, there are variations of these skulls. Again, they will be used as ingredients. Finish them! Luke wins. Bestiality! Oh, if you heard a door close just now, that was my that was one of my nieces. It came into my room to get something like one of my pillows. Anyway, there is a prayer statue right there, which is another safe point. But hey. it doesn't seem to be working right now. So what I have to do is walk up to it and have a look at it. Then I can save our progress. Incidentally. I need to activate that other statue in the sealed grounds as well. Mm. Oh, another thing. These statues can actually get me back up to the... to the sky. Somehow. So, let's have a look at it. Oh! I hope the mic didn't pick that up, because I just farted. Yeah, YouTubers are a lot like everybody else. They eat, drink, shit, fart, and <laughs> like everybody else. So if you ever hear me fart, don't laugh at me or anything because <laughs> everybody farts. <laughs> oh man, I don't see why it has to be so shameful to fart. I'm getting a little off topic here and a little gross to be honest. And I just had a very big dinner. Oh. Frito pie. I love Frito pie. It had some barbecue meat from the other day. It was yummy. And why the hell am I talking about food? <laughs> oh man, I gotta stop that. Mm. Mike didn't pick up my farting. Or my niece is laughing. Get out of here! <laughs> oh. <laughs> Damn kids. <laughs> oh my god. These kids are something else. Oh my lord. Anyway, <laughs> the statue reacted when I came up to it. <laughs> so now I can save. Let's examine the statue more quickly, more closely, yeah. And I'm going to turn in a save, and that will advance the story further. Mm. Oh! Well, there's actually another place to go to. I'm gonna. This is actually a shortcut to the sealed grounds. So, what I'm gonna do is open up a shortcut. Damn kids. Well, let's push this log over to the side and unlock that other statue. So now. Oh no. Not the plant the dino. Ow! Yeah, I just call them vagina plants. Okay, when I activated that other statue, it activated this statue down here. So, uh, ow! God damn it, I hate these vagina plants. Might as well be vaginas because some, some of them have lips like vaginas. <laughs> 
Those Deku Babas, they look like vaginas for some reason. Moving on. Anyway, let's go further into the forest. Which is where I can see that... Oh, there's a log here. I gotta roll it over to the wall so I can get up there. Ah, the sweet sound of success. Going up. And there is that beacon I just let down. So let's open our map and disengage it. Here we are. In a very unfamiliar place. It's called the Faron Woods. This is the Faron Woods. There is plenty of water in this region. This area actually has two elements. Wind and water. And you will find that out much later on in the game. That, I assure you. And each time you visit a new area, it is imprinted on your map. And there are vines in this place that you can swing using the Wii Remote in which I will show you in a little bit. Oh yeah, she wanted me to use my dowsing ability. I'm gonna turn in another save. Like any RPG, you should save often. Because you only live once, you know. Unless you have a fairy in your bottle, which is life insurance to me. This is, per this is pretty much a training grounds for swinging across gaps using these vines. You see how I'm swinging the Wii Remote? You basically use that motion to swing on those vines and to intensify your swing. Now what I have to do here is cut through these vines. There are monsters here hassling that what kind of looks like a Brussels sprout. Finish them! Link wins. Bestiality! <laughs> oh. <laughs> the first time I saw these things, I was like, what the hell are those things? <laughs> uh, I'll see a, you'll see a lot of crazy looking creatures. And of course, for some bosses of some dungeons you'll see one-eyed freaks of nature, but I'm not gonna spoil it what kind of one-eyed freaks of nature for those of you who haven't played the game. <laughs> oh well. <laughs> now I gotta go searching for this thing, whatever it is. And how did it get up there? I was gonna ask if it was Zelda, but I, was just, I just felt like saying, really? Now apparently, according to Fi, Zelda's been around those guys, those little Brussels sprout-like guys. They closely resemble Deku scrubs. I actually need to... No, why did I put my shell away? Go this way. Now, you did see how uh, my uh, stamina gauge replenished when I picked up that fruit. There you are. <laughs> I don't know 
why it scared shitless of me. I better go find it. It's a... Oh, it's here! <laughs> I just had to roll into that mushroom. Appar now, you can actually pick up one of those, uh... Yeah, you can actually pick up those, uh... Oh, not this vagina again. You will die, you vagina-looking plant thingy. Let's pull out our dousing sword. And find this little... Oh. Oh, it's over here. Let's go get it. Oh, shit. So now we gotta go look for it again, son of a bitch. Oh, more of these guys. You will die. Ooh, money. Let's have a talk with this guy. <laughs> Actually, they look more like kiwis than they... <laughs> I don't know what these guys... Yeah, they're... They look more like kiwis than Brussels sprouts. But they do look kind of cute. They would make good stuffed animals. Kiwis? <laughs> they kind of do like... like. Yeah, they look more like kiwis. <laughs> That Kikui scared shitless of five. <laughs> Oh, somewhere around there. So... <laughs> Fai, what the hell are you? Are you some kind of auto-tuned artificial intelligence or something? You should talk like a computer. Now I gotta find more of these guys. I've already killed those vagina plants. Oh, up there somewhere. Are they up there on that trio? I can't get up there. Oh no. I hate those guys. Hey, there's one way to kill a vagina plant like this. You will die! Link with oh, Bestiality! <laughs> oh, I gotta stop with the animal rape jokes. Grossing obscure Mikolo out. Some of these little plants can actually be cut too. Attack also costs you your energy. Finish 
Action! Leap win. Bestiality! And I created another shortcut. Yay. Hey, I just picked up some kind of a uh, relic here. <laughs> I'm here now. What the heck? Get it out of here! You guys are sick! Get out of here! Oh my god, this is gonna be embarrassing! So are you, Cyclops! Ooh, a Deku Scrub or whatever that thing is. Oh no, not another one. Oh, uh, when you walk across... Oh, I thought that was one of those tight ropes. Oh well, I guess I have to cut it. And you see how I just became tired like that? Yep, I had to cut the rope. I need to swing across there to get to this big kiwi thingy. Shut up! Oh my god, will you shut up? And the first time I saw this thing, I was like, what the heck is this fat thing? Oh, it's you! Shut up! Look, I'm recording for YouTube. Will you guys shut up? Shut up! I hope you know this mic can actually pick y'all up! I guess so, yeah. <laughs> Shut up. All right, you two, you guys gotta settle down. Okay, y'all are gonna knock my computer down if y'all keep kicking like that. I know. BB. So let's move on. Yeah. yeah, let's climb up these vines and look for that. Look for those kiwi like creatures. You have to be very careful here. You have to use the Wii Remote to uh, center your balance. Oh no. Ah, crap. Those little things that stick to you, they explode. Hey, I'm the one recording here. Shut up. Huh? Huh? 
Uh oh, another. Let's see what this thing is, and before they break my shield. This is actually called an Octorok grass. The first time I saw this guy, I thought it was a Deku scrub. But it's actually an Octorok. It's a grass type, just like Pokemon. More or less. Maggie! The best way to kill these guys is to deflect their projectiles back at them. And I am low on energy. Good thing I have some life insurance. Ooh, Ruby, fine. You will die. <laughs> and I'm low on energy. It's a good thing I have that recovery spirit. I think the mic just picked up my fart. Ooh, fairy! I gotta have it! I gotta have it! Shut up! You are mine! Come here! Get in here! You're mine! All mine! Life insurance! Yay! They re <laughs> oh, anyway, you notice the uh, little gauge? You see how it's kind of a... <laughs> <laughs> anyway, moving on. Oh no, not this guy. Oh no, this guy has a horn and he calls more of them. Oh crap, they killed me. It's a good thing I have life insurance. Grandpa can get mad. Finish them. Link wins. Bestiality. Gotcha down. There you go. I better find a save point and stop the video. I think I've recorded for about half an hour or so. Stop it, Tony! Stop it!
Okay, so now that... Climb up here. Dad! So y'all wouldn't do stupid things like that. No. Not stupid like that. Not stupid like that. Like that. <laughs> oh no. Y'all are gonna get me banned from YouTube for life. Yeah. I only have 80. No, 80. You have to have a YouTube account in order to do that. Well, well anyway, I gotta stop the video here because we are out of time. Anyway, uh, thanks for watching Walk Me Through. I'm Mr. Orthopedia saying peace, and that's a wrap. See you soon. You kids are so rude. I wasn't trying to make a lot of noise. I know. At least I did it in the...